impossible to say, but like, ah, that is bright. This is why we have light control. I turn them all the way up, turn them all the way down. Light control, and then it'll change because of the scene on the TV. Also, this back here in the back, oh lord, it just gets too hot. Oh, there's a ladybug. Hi. Oh, now it's a gone. <laughs> it's a gone bug. There we go. As long as it doesn't fall over my heater or my AC unit, we good. Back where we left off, Jericho. Hi, welcome to Jericho. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many try to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. <laughs> you can stay with us as long as you want. Go and Should this. probably plug this back in. Should probably plug these back in because I had issues with them earlier. There. There we go. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Well, she's a little rude, but that's okay.
It's a child. It's dead, I think. They threw him out, and they didn't want him anymore. That's sad. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. That's tough. Can I help this kid? Oh, he's right here. That's sad. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. It's like welding, but I thought welding. Drink this. I think Lucy was supposed to be like some kind of nurse android. Give me your hand. About no. Or spiritual like leader. I can't tell what Lucy's you supposed to be. All, and you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Again, like I said, I think she's a nurse.
can't talk to him? Okay. Well, oh, he's afoot. I'll try to get around my YouTube. Forgot about that. Sorry. Noom. Today, today, phone, today. Hello. This is what I have to explore, I think. Yep. Oh no, I can go talk to that dude. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber life warehouses in the But that was nice. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. Oh, tomorrow. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Jericho goes up. I forget that the time diff like the time um are different we're in different time zones completely <sighs> that's probably your rapish Onward. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. I have a child. Come in. Be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please? Make yourselves at home. Okay, my headset's charged, that's cool. So now the last several hours. How did you hear about me? An android. 
On the street, he said you could help us. I see. A picture in the background is spooky. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Bye. Somewhere you can start a Bye -bye. new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. See ya. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracking. <sighs> yeah, on I smell... All Cat. androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Your honor, that's Cap. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. If you could just stand over there. Uh -huh. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, but people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. That's what you get for having a dream. 
don't like you, dude. It always ends up the same way. Tears and dissolution. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Carl! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. Bite him. Break the little shit. Bite him. You bit me. I'm going to teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. There's this black cell here. Oh shit, my thing's not back. I was like, wait. Thought my shit wasn't back on. Oops. There's a damn wire for this. Is that vodka? <laughs> I think it is, too. You're on, you're like versing time right now, which is retarded. Oh no. That's a first. Uh oh. That's a first. I've never had this thing reset before, so that's new to me. Otherwise the little one will die. Just a friend. I don't want to serve lots go. Can I come back in here? That the Norton dude is just somebody that always joins my streams and kind of like just checks in for some reason all the time. There's no way for me to like probe the memory thing at all. No. I did
there's more things in here. Yeah, for no reason. I was like, uh, no, sorry about that. Fuck off. It was as a joke, I believe, but... Not last stream, but one of them. Why can't I look in here? There we go. Disgusting. Yeah, I think, like I said, it was pretty much as a joke, but whatever. That's nasty. I'm not Bella Delphine. So let me take baths. Who takes baths? Camera angles. Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther. This is a first. I've never had the memory problems. I was always able to get the memory thingy before time ran out. I could always restart the damn thing, but I'm not going to do that. Oh wait, wrong way. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. What kind of dinner is that? Hold the hell up. Now get rid of that carcass. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lapka. Luther. Luther. Spooky. Yes, Lock. I should be down here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little ones here. Understood, Slock. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. See now it's no longer finding the little the little girl or Alice. It's now remembering her. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. You have no business here. No, you have no business here. If you have no orders, you should go on standby. Oh yes, you must obey. Yes, you must obey. Yes, you must obey. You should not be here. You should, you should not be here unless you have been given orders to be here. Where is Alice? I forget. I forget where she's actually at. A Detroit supermarket was held up at gunpoint last night. The cashier reports that he was attacked by an android in the company of a little girl. Now, if these reports are confirmed, it would be the... Police have not ruled out the possibility that the... How 
have an itch. Okay, so we're not finding her yet. Shut up. Me. Shut up, stupid. How could I forget you? I have food in here. I forgot. I'm so sorry. You were right. Maybe we should have come. Food. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Luther! Yes, love. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, son. It's playing hide and seek, and if I let go of this button, I'm screwed. Damn, all this is new to me. And my mic was muted, so now it's stupid. Oh! And now we just killed Watsko. I guess. Whoa. I never, I've never played this version, so I guess they really thought about this. This motherfucker crazy. Shoot up his entire house. Like, bro, it ain't that deep. Let him go. Shit. Run, run, run.
Yeah, Luther's about to kill them. I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. But I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Ah uh ha -huh. ha. won't. How dare you. How dare you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master! Beat him up. I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I can cry them. See, the theme for Kara is the same through this thing. They just have a different version of it. You can hear it with the orchestra part of it. I was so scared of losing you. Let's stop. But point is, I literally got to conduct one time and it was fun. I'm trying to eat two on top of this, so... Just nibble. Snack, whatever you want to call it. Next. So I should have got points for that one because that was the first time I've done that. And I do not wear the way that went. A piece dropped in my lap and now I can't find it. This is weird. I don't like this witch. Found you. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. I think it was Connor's predecessor. With Lieutenant predecessor's grays over there. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. 
deviancy continues to spread, it's only a matter of time before the media find out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. I feel like Amanda's all in Connor's head, but, like, it's like his getaway. Sumo, his puppy. Lieutenant Anderson. Easy, Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. <laughs> He's like, damn! Good dog. Lieutenant. Well, wake up, Lieutenant. Wake up, Lieutenant. Ready? Just. It's me, Tom. Just absolutely slap. I'm sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn me. Leave me alone. This may be unfucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. 
It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. He just straight starts throwing up in about like two seconds after you come back with his clothes or some shit. What do you want to wear? Whatever. We'll make him look goofy. Yep, right here. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Petsumo. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. Good dog. He's so gentle with the dog, which is like crazy. Sorry about the window, Lieutenant. I really thought you'd been attacked. Of course, Cyberlife will pay for the damage. Yeah, trust me, I've been. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. <laughs> Sumo gonna come back and be passed out, lick the alcohol up, up off the floor. Ah, uh, it's the eating club. Now. If they catch us, we're dead. Cause literally my thing fell over my EC unit. Imagine. Oh, but it's best it's nice and cold when I lift that sheet. Yes it is. Uh now it's light in here. Oh, it's reading 50. No. Oh. Now it's not. It was reading 50 because the air was blowing back in it. That's nice. <laughs> in reality, it's probably like 80 something up here. Mom. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts in the blue blood. Follow me. Mom, let's walk. We 
prove your ass. today for north instructions. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I didn't say that one. There we go. Yeah. All right, that should work. Hopefully that drone stays in the path I need it to. Hello. I have no idea who you are. And that's just facts. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Oh, you're jelly. I was like, hold on, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> Sup, jelly. That's not putting shit in the backpack. You were trespassing on private property. Presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. Oh. Let's find.
Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. We still don't have enough. Androids. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? trucks they're full of bio components they run on autopilot but they can be driven manually with a key where is this key down there in the control station there are two human guards we'll have to get the key without being noticed this is suicide markers our bags are full we got what we came for let's go before they catch us this is a truck full of spare parts there'd be enough for all of us we can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Poor North. I hear the dog. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. To the ground. Uh. 
Damn. How'd they get a key? The thing is, how'd they get the truck over here? Did you get it? They're not dead. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. No. <laughs> but I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Give skill points. Either way, I think you could steal the truck all the way. This is what's gonna get me in trouble right here from YouTube. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh, no. Welcome to Ian's. There's the north.
you're not gonna take my license, are you? I mean, <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way. Hey, glitter on them. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing in? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like you're wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. So disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Die of a heart attack. He was strangled. No. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. Mix it up. Driver's license says Michael Graham. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. and I reacted to you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> there was another android. This happened over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No, it couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? 
came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much. You know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Just awkwardly stand there. Hand above. Oh shit. What the hell are you doing? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you changed your mind. Let's try this one. This better be worth it. itch and it's not okay so it's gonna have to wait it saw the blue-haired Tracy I know which way it went then go for it there are androids everywhere how are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair I know which direction it took I just need to find another in But it did come this way. Hold on. Right here. No, can't. This one? Okay. I'm just I'm supposed to get one of the strippers. Track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun.
didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. I got a time. I'm out of time. Pretty sure this is the one you get to check, no? Still not having fun. Damn it, I figured which one it is now. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. It's track again. And I have absolutely no time left, so this is fun. Sit. No. I lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. I don't have enough time for this. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking it. This is crazy. Take it from here. Shit. 
too late. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. My controller will not stop vibrating. The the freaking rotator in it is like no. Cause Connor keeps getting thrown. any of this. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've you've taken her away from me. No. I love her. I loved her. Well, they're dead now, so they come in handy later.
seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Magically. This doesn't look good. Where to spend the night? There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Band amusement parks. Wonder if this is what Sierra Point and Kings Island. What kind of look like if they ever shut them down? I haven't even said anything. It's just like part of. I know this.
Here we go. Okay, no one cares. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No. Did what I could. something else I could pick up here or something I guess that was just it. I know this place is abandoned. It doesn't make like a lot of sense because it's like a really cool place. Looks like it would have been a really cool place. Time is it? Oh yeah. I was like, dog should be working. Ugh. Die. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. 
This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but, but they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luke? Yes. Yes, of course. Night, Alice. Sleep tight. Just eat and now sleep. It don't work like that. And you have me who does the entire flip around 80 times and can't get comfortable. It's too hot. It's too cold. Because <laughs> I have no iron type thing. Designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if you want to avoid being seen. Kara. It's Kara. Have you ever. Noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Spooky. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... She should follow us, then. 
Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> What's badass? The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. I'm not sure if there's still like one thing on that carousel because a lot of amusement parks just leave the poles empty. They just completely dismantle a lot of the rides. I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Why is it jumping? Oh, it doesn't have an arm. Or it does. I could. What? Very wholesome scene. This will be the last one I play. I'm pretty sure it's Marcus. It should be Marcus, but I already played Connor at the Eden Club. No, it's Connor. This will be the last scene I play, though. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oops. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. making any progress in this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. <laughs> it's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. <laughs> Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. 
Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... Headphones. Headphones and gauges. They can simulate human emotions. But they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? You get drunker. Need to think. Well, here I am playing Marcus's part because I wanted to. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. <laughs> Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Hello, sir. 
can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Miss Wilson speaking. This is safe from school, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you want to come with your girl. Oh, all right. Oh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Imagine. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Where do I have to find a uh, utility android? Where is one though? This is a bowl. I need your help. Oh, there it is, finally. I don't remember the fire escape, so let's go back to the elevator. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in.
she's so much ahead of him, which I don't get how, because she literally cl started climbing two seconds before him. Where are they? Oh, oh yeah, the elevator. Let's do this. There. Crate has a bomb, this little mine bomb for it. Technically, that's not killing them. <laughs> Bonk! Yes. I forget what you don't say in this because then it starts a riot like that. Oh no shit. No shit. Oh. 
might be able to remove your skin. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Oh, I thought it didn't queue. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient, no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Just gonna. I figured you don't click here. Strictly equal rights for She's humans. She's so technically you're injecting someone with something of yours. <gasps> we demand <laughs> androids as a living species. You're not wrong. As a person it's, in their own right. it's messed up. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. Right here's like some of the toughest choices in this game. So you have to leave one of them or die or some silly shit. one part I don't like about this game. There's a couple parts I don't like about this game. Would be funny if all these were malfunction, uh, you know, parachutes, malfunctional parachutes, and they all just uh, splat on the pavement. Game ends. Marcus, you just made history. Maybe you are the one who's been waiting for. Game ends right there. Just trying to come here and roll the credits. We didn't have to fight this time. Oh yeah, it's because our scheduled programming to bring you fight or something. I don't remember. Broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system. It's if you don't run in time or something, or if you do a different type of broadcast, you get a different outcome. Demanded equal rights for androids. Operation resulted in one casualty: a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual? Or an is this group. an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Nah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Google and stuff doesn't already listen to you. Proven if you'll be talking about an item you want to buy, then you'll find an ad for it or you'll see something for it. Yeah, there was the one I've had that outcome, but some of these are locked for no reason. So. Shit. I keep trying to stop, and then I keep just clicking X.
Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Yeah, make me all do all the work. I don't like you. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. Oh, what? Can I just flip the boat? Just what? Lost, Connor. <coughs> lost and perturbed. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated, but I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviants. Think that went down. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Oh, that's in the game. I was like, hold up. <laughs> Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. But I don't like you, so what if I don't want to? You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Project the roof. So much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were going to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. That. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an 
Android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI would take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. <coughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Wait, what? Oh. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hall. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Hmm. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do. I want to check this dude. <laughs> well played. Well played. <laughs> I have just been called out, but that's okay.
We don't need to read any of those. I never really think. It's this one in the back. It's that one at the end. Spielers. <laughs> Shut up. I get it. State your model. Model GB300. GB, J. Four four five five eight one. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. <sighs> Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. <laughs> All systems fully operational. I can uh, get this guess another time someone dies to look like that. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. We're going to be switched off. We're gonna Corners search like rude. and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! I can't make you do anything. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because that of one at the end. Gotcha. Is. Let's go. Marcus already did this. Let's go, son. I thought we'd have you pressing R1 along with this, but I guess not. He leaves. It's a deviant. Stop it. Why do they always kill themselves? My YouTube just froze. Lovely. Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I'd. At death! different things on here because um different parts of the story I'm just gonna play this game so I don't have to like I actually have to like go just here soon but that's okay 
three hour stream later. Pretty sure. My arm was like tangling numb it's because of this. You can see all the marks on this because this rides back here and then it gets like jammed. It's got marks on it, damn. What's the objective? Okay. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. That's a pussy pussy face. <laughs> Do you think we can trust him? I don't have a choice. My controller's getting sticky on the X. Uh oh. Time to replace it. I thought that's gonna mean this isn't even a, that old of a controller, but it was been, been dropped a lot. Cause I'm have no hand grip, it seems. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. <laughs> There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Uh, <sighs> it's not that. That's a term for when your buttons get stuck. Sticky buttons, son. Mmm. Just like loose is also a term for a controller that has mistake or problematic buttons or joysticks. <sighs> Ziggler, I swear to God. I'm gonna kick your ass tomorrow. Move, boy! Jesus. Let's go, child. Move your legs. Faster. Ay, yay, yay. Come on. Jesus Christ. Why are you gonna stay home? Really? Hmm. <laughs> I see how it is. Looks like I'm dragging you out by the hair. Oh, that looks so blue on y'all screen. And it looks so perfect on mine. Oh, it's cause I have the HD and R. HDR uh, stuff. That's right. Cause it's in too high quality. So it shows blue. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We can Keep playing with the quality. Them. Oh, you can watch us in VR. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just really? talk to each other? Really? Okay, I know where your window is. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. <laughs> back on your feet spaghetti you does not take that long to make, but it does not take that short a time to make. Impossible. I'll get these washed and dried. <laughs> okay, I can't win with you. you need to eat something. Fine. <laughs> Downstairs, 
Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. That is false information. I'll stay with her a while. I can't win. <sighs> Did you do my ear medicine again? But I'm not doing it on stream because it hurts, but it would be funny. So. I need to do them anyway. <laughs> Where's a bottle? I thought this one was empty. I guess it's not. This shit actually hurts. Oh, I didn't know what's to drip all the way out my ear. <laughs> Freaking Well, something's about to be sacrificed. That's nice. I have a towel over here. Thankfully. Ugh. It's wet. It's wet! Oh, you can't even see me. That's nice. It's very wet. That's what she said. Ah ha ha. How did two other people just join? It's reading four people and then three on my thing. Okay. Makes sense, right? This is my son Adam. I'm my Rose, son you know Adam. Come and have a seat, Karen. Adam. No. <laughs> Memes. So, are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in this? <gasps> uh. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening. Something snapped inside of me. Oh, the, the, the sob story. The sob story. To protect her. Scoots. So we ran away. So we I ran away. Scared. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never Hello. be rich, but there's always food on the table. There's always food on the table. Well, big girl's gotta eat, so I mean, well, she is. I mean, your son make a good, uh, My people a good snack there. Have to eat services. him. <laughs> Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Why am I getting views now? We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, Everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. Huh, <laughs> imagine uh, we have my moderator and my boyfriend about to put you on timeout or kick you. Know Babe, do your shit. Turn him on timeout! Please. You've got to Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Rose, come quickly. Put him on timeout. <laughs> it's funny why it's called timeout because literally, like, <clears throat> you're just handling a child now. I want to shut all these before I have to deal with the police. What's going on? What's
We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. No. The sob story. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let her go. Let her go. That's all you can do. Thought androids were not human and couldn't cry. But I guess I'm wrong. I mean, the, I could see the child model. Like, I guess I could see the child version. of like I don't know what I'm trying to say is I guess I could see like Alice's version of an android could like I don't know be programmed for that come on Alice she didn't want to stay in her room any longer you alright Carol Kara. Kara. Yes. I'm fine. Kara. It's Kara. Please, not let's be maimed in about a year. <laughs> I can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. Um, yes, you will be. Our lives and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! Beat that! Beat this! Alive. You're alive, they? They're nothing! Beat this! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Get it, Mom. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. Um, it's yeah. Been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? <laughs> Stay here. I won't be long. Timed out, son. Cuz I can. Can't get her clothes or okay, not yet. Okay, well, that makes sense. Having to check on the child. This will be the last little section of this game I do for now, and then when I come back next week, I'll pick up where I left foot leave off now. You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? Bingo! She just pressure and then she just beat the shit out of Kara. That'd be funny. She's like, yeet. I don't. Know. Let's talk to Luther. I hope Rose gets back soon. Kara, there's something I need to tell you. Well, that's too damn bad. Not now, Luther. So why we don't like Kara. She's a self-sophisticated asshole sometimes. Why do I gotta talk to her, son? This ain't my damn business. Like, clearly ain't my business. 
Let's check the closet real quick before I talk to your ass. I don't like you as it is. Blue blood. It's probably salvaged. Actually, no, it wouldn't be in the pouches, I don't think. Okay, clear tablets, but it's all fun and games. You're trying to watch something. I can see why you're angry. And then it's over. Has any problems? We just want to get across the border. Well, that went well. The police. It's the police. No, oh, well, no use. What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. The last piece of evidence is this room. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. You know what car reminds me of? Man? My aunt. Good evening. Like, except for, she's not like, it's the way she acts, not the way she looks. Only in the face does my aunt look like that, except for... She's taller, probably, and chonky. A little chonky, Would but that's like okay. I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. That's quick. Wish we can make cups of coffee that fast. My energy level would be freaking off the roof. Out of the roof very quickly. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. I may have just screwed up severely. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. <sighs> Yikes. I didn't do that last time. How did it? Oh. That's why I should have should have said that. Yeah, no, I screwed up. Yikes! Uh, here I go playing another section, even though I've already said this will be the last one. Well, I ain't have to leave yet, but watch if someone's gonna go me news. downstairs or something magically. Now humans know. Ugh. They took Marcus's shoulders hurt. As a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Jericho. They'll be watching us now. Someone understands the game. Whatever cool. We do next, we need to My shoulders. Killing me. 
Since our Let's fuck it, though, for throwing a check, carrying a big ass chain on my, on my neck, and my dog almost bit me over that. This wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the I want to see the save logo so I can just killing never save it and then pick up. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is going to make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough. Get it. Let him fight. I want to see North whoop his ass because I know North can. Now what are we going to do? Of course. Black screen. Ooh. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. Oh, well, you guys what are technically a piece of machinery. Ooh. Oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Not to mention police. We yeah, break no into five shit. Teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Press X for doubt. I've been waiting a long time for this. Uh huh. Waiting a long time for what exactly? I think it's where they keep getting all these outfits. Because clearly there's none on that boat. Wow, what part of quick does nobody understand? It's okay, they're gone. Boo, it's okay, they're gone. They're out. Not like they're looking. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Nah, we'll wing it. Doesn't look sus. Just we were running at 2 a.m. Not sus. Tesla, but called Swish. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop. Uh, yeah, we? you don't say. You know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Waiting for you see the alarm system. There's a metal shutter behind the glass. It won't be easy to get in. No. Here we go. Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Just a power thing or some shit. Okay. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Good morning. <laughs> Mom! 
Marcus, watch out. Ajá. Bullshit. How is North not seen? Nice job, Marcus. I don't like you, woman. Getting me into trouble, okay? Jesus. What do we gotta do now? No, oh, come here, Goofy. You're free. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? <laughs> That's about to change. Ha uh ha. -huh. For doubt. <laughs> So what do I have to do now? Scout the area. You're free. Free Nobody should bother us now. Okay. What do I want me to look at here? Something. There it is. We need that exactly. truck. There's police drones in the area still. I'm pretty sure. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. There it goes.
escalate. When I say I'm tired, I mean I am like tired today. Time to call the cops. We'll see. Yeah. Find out. <laughs> Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Run, boy, run. I forget how you have to get in here. What are we waiting for? Not being this whole situation. Or actually would have to find it myself because this game makes you do everything by yourself. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Saying that in a truck. Good job. Why would you stop the truck? I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Also, when did she get that much hair? You don't have to obey them. You're free. For some reason, I just noticed they were looking blue on here. Let's get them out of here. <laughs> 
My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. Very poor choice of words for this game. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my arms get tingly and again. Who and it's gonna right back where it was where where it was. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. <gasps> From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place I don't for those realize. of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Nah, we just got to say it Damn, I didn't even realize. That's I'm hard. Send the humans a message. Hey Siri, open settings. What's on? The screens, Marcus. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead, and they'll follow. That was before I didn't even hear. Oh shit. If you can do it in here. Marcus. Violence is the only language humans understand. And I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. Where I have to go now. Oh, I have to lead them into the street, that's right, or some shit.
Hmm. Move. Either wanted to be 100% violent or 100% pacifist. Last time I picked violence, and last time it really kind of like messed up the game. Today. Tag that one today. I never tag these cars, but that's cool. Now it wants to rain. Teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. She is. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Please. <laughs> 
we won't punish a crime with another crime. this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Closure. All right, let's, uh, 68% through this damn thing. Damn. I think that's enough of this game for one day. It's Stream for shit. I don't know. What is it reading? Two hours? It's probably way longer than that. No. Nope. Alright, that's it for this one. I'm out of here. Shit.